In this tutorial, we're going to look at Visual Basic's Listbox control. As we can see on our form here, we've got Listbox 1 and Listbox 2. Now, I've deliberately made them different sizes because you can see over here in Listbox 1, when we've added the seven days of the week, which, like a combo box, you click this little arrowhead in the top right and then you edit items, you can actually type whatever you want in here. Now because I've got seven days of the week and I don't actually have enough uh, space height-wise to display all seven days of the week, you can see the list box control automatically adds a scroll bar for us. Over here we're going to see um, a list box control without the scroll bar. Now we've got a basic program where we're going to enter some data into a text box by clicking add item that's actually going to be added to the first list box so we can see the effect on the scroll bar. Then we can actually choose to delete an item but we can go into to delete items from the second list, list box. To get data into the second list box at runtime what we're going to do is be able to click on any of the items in the first list box and that will get moved across automatically for us. So let's get started. Double click the add item button. Now if I create some of those four areas again in the declarations, input, processing, and output. Now we need a variable that's going to get user input. So dim word as string and instantiate that to a null value. Good programming practice. Now for input, we're going to populate variable with user input. I have here from the text box. So the variable goes first, then the assignment statement, then we say well, whereabouts are we getting the data from. It's from a text box called text word. Now processing, I'm not actually going to do any validation or anything like that, so at the moment, as the program stands, I'm not really going to have any processing as such. So I go straight to output, and I need to display in listbox onetemsadd notice it's the same as the text box, uh, sorry, the combo box syntax. I'm going to add what is currently held in the variable called word. Then I'm going to just tidy up some loose ends by clearing the text box of this data and then placing the cursor back into it with the focus method. Now we'll go over and we'll delete an item that we've got selected in the first list box. Actually, we'll do it in the second list box so you can see it a lot easier without the scroll bar. So in the deleted item, say removes one item from the second list box. So the syntax here is listbox two dot items dot remove. Again it's exactly the same syntax as a combo box, just the name of the control is different. And what do we want to move? Sorry, delete, we want to delete the item that is currently selected, so select an item property of the second list box. Then we're going to double click the first list box itself. Now the default event here is the selected index changed. The code inside here that we're going to write will be triggered every time we select any even one item inside the list box. So, when an item inside the list box is selected, we want to transfer selected item from list box 1 to list box 2. So we want to add to list box 2 
www.items.add. Where are we getting it from? We're getting it from listbox1.selectedItem. So let's run this program. Okay, so what we've got here is our first list box that we hard coded the contents into in design view. And you can see we've got the scroll bar that show all of the items. We can add some items to it. Add item. And we can see they are listed down the bottom in the order in which we have added them. When I clicked on them, you'll see they've automatically transferred across. Now I could have had some code that would delete items in here as well after they've been transferred across, but I haven't got that. I can add to it though. If I select an item in the second list box, we can go delete. I keep adding Sunday here. You can see we get a scroll bar appears in the second list box. Now let's just add some code to the first list box. When we select an item in the first list box, we know that we're going to transfer that word across to the second list box. Now we're going to just improve this by going remove selected item from list box 1. So it's list box 1 dot items dot remove and what are we removing we're moving whatever we've selected in the first list box so this box one dot selected item let's check that okay if I select Tuesday not only does it move to the second list box but you can see we've deleted it from the first one as well I do the same for Friday and so on and so on 